Good morning, Yonora. Good morning, Mom. Okay, Yonora, can you tell me about yourself? Uh, I'm Yonora Lamoste. I'm 37 years old. I have three kids. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, Mom. Why do you want to work as a maid? I work as a maid to help my husband and for the future of my kids. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I chose Malaysia because a lot of friends that telling me Malaysia is a nice place. How are you qualified for this job? I'm qualified for this job man because I'm I'm hard working and I have a discipline. May I know what your educational level is? My education level is only high school graduate. What is your recent working experience? Uh, my recent ex experience is uh, I'm house uh, ho household uh, all around uh, all around housemaid all around housemaid uh, 2012 2013 in <coughs> resident of Itnigar Sola. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. Whose baby is that? Uh, my three kids, ma'am. How and about elderly people? No, ma'am. But I'm willing to learn. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, no, ma'am. But I'm willing to learn uh, any skills, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relative stays together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Philippine food. But I'm willing to learn uh, cook uh, any kind of food, uh, Italian or European or Asian foods. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. I'm willing. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Uh, like, I like to cleaning, wa uh, washing, ironing, and cooking if ever you were selected to work in malaysia who will take care of your kids my husband you are not allowed to use handphone during working hours yes ma'am i'm allowed ma'am you are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed yes ma'am you are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. I'm waiting. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, yes, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. I'll allow it, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. I'm agreed. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years contract, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Uh, my attitude ma'am is hard working, have a discipline, I'm happy and... Uh, How can mission. you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I am work hard to Malaysia ma'am na I make sure my employer is proud of me, proud of me ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. I'm happy. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. I'm happy, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? 
Yes, ma'am, I'm agree. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am, I'm agree. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of heights? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of the heights? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of... Okay, so you are not afraid of the heights, right? Can yes, you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Leonora, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have yes, a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Uh, I talk to my employer, then uh, I need a, I, I, I tell about what happened in Philippines, then uh, I ask my employer, mom, if you allow me to go back to Philippines. Uh, or, or not, I'm willing to go back in the Philippines. So if not, if yeah. not, if not, um, I finish my contract now. If if allow me, that is it's okay for me. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Leonardo Lamostre, 37 years old. I'm I work in Malaysia to help my husband and for the future of my kids. Okay, Yonora, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, if you hire me, ma'am, you, I, I think you're proud of me, ma'am, as a, as a me. Okay, thank you very much, Leonora. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am.